Hello and everyone and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Andrea and I work in the reputation and brand management department of Fanshawe College and I'll be your host for today's session. Today we're joined by Marianne Cron, Jody Hall, Courtney Van Stratton, Neve Garrity, and Marissa Codispodi, um, who will be speaking about the doula studies program at Fanshawe College. Hello everyone. Thanks for being here. And I'll just ask you, Marianne, if you can please go on to the next slide for me. Perfect. Before we begin today's session, I would like to review a few housekeeping items. Audience webcams and mics are turned off for this session, so don't worry, no one can see or hear you at all. If you have any questions throughout this session, it's super easy to send them in by using the questions feature. To access the questions feature, just click on the speech bubble with the question mark and type away. I will gather your submitted questions during the presentation and ask later um, on our live Q&A. We will try our best to get through all of your submitted questions within the session time. If you are looking for more information after the session, we will provide you with contact information and how to book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. Lastly, if you happen to have multiple programs open and running, it may compromise your webinar experience. So we recommend you take a moment now to close any open programs before we begin. Now, once again, I'd like to introduce all of our speakers, which are Mary Ann Cron, Jody Hall, Courtney Van Stratton, Neve Garrity, and Marissa Codispodi, who will be speaking about the Doula Studies Program at Fanshawe College. Now I will pass it on to Mary Ann, um, and I'll be back again for the live Q&A. So I'll leave it on to you, Mary Ann. Thanks, Andy, and welcome everyone. I'm so glad you could join us for our session um, about dual studies. And we're so fortunate that we have three students with us tonight, uh, Neve, Courtney, and Marissa. So here we are, and you might notice Dr. Jody Hall is in this picture. Jody is one of our professors, and she's also a doula. So here's an overview of our program. <clears throat> Firstly, I'd like to tell you a little bit about doulas. Doulas are unregulated healthcare professionals who provide emotional, physical, and informational support and accompaniment to people across the full spectrum of reproductive options and outcomes. Doulas are advocates who support clients to make decisions about their own bodies and their own reproductive health care. Doulas are not midwives and they do not deliver babies. Doulas do not give medical advice, nor do they perform clinical assessments, monitor or diagnose. Doulas can raise concerns based on what they are observing and suggest a referral to the appropriate medical authority. Also, doulas do not make decisions for their clients, rather doulas aim to create relationships with their clients that create a sense of safety and trust in their own decision making. Our teaching team includes experienced and expert practicing doulas, researchers, registered nurses with backgrounds in community and public health and pediatric nursing. In addition, experts from our community participate in many of our classes. Course content and practicum placements emphasize the important role doulas play in creating access to resources people need to meet reproductive health outcomes, and doulas are invited to support families navigating reproduction and parenting choices across a wide range of situations. From a reproductive justice lens, this means working to remove barriers individuals, families, and communities face in making choices to have children, not have children, and to raising their children with the resources to ensure safety and dignity. We work to ensure students are prepared to work with all genders, sexual orientations, and approaches to family building, such as surrogacy and adoption. Throughout our program, we talk about the role of the doula within the person's circle of health care and the importance of professional relationships with the family and other care providers. We stress qualities and characteristics expected of our graduates, including self-reflection, cultural humility, being non-judgmental and accepting of others, protecting confidentiality and privacy of information, accountability, a spirit of inquiry, 
developing a relational way of being to honor clients with physical and emotional presence and being an agent of change regarding access to reproductive options. Now I'd like to give you a brief summary of our program. Doula Studies is a full-time one-year certificate program. Our program provides in-depth training and opportunities to learn about and practice doula skills. In the winter term, students take a business course taught by an experienced small business owner to help prepare them to run their own doula business upon graduation. Since our program is situated in a community college, students can stay in residence, which is right on campus. Students also have access to all the facilities provided by the college and the Fanshawe Student Union some of which are listed on this slide. Our program is founded upon a strongly held belief of all individuals have the right to information, supports, and resources to make the decisions that are best for them. We believe in meeting individuals where they are at and accompanying them with the highest regard for their safety. We believe all people have the right to be treated with respect and dignity, regardless of whether we are personally agree with choices they are making. People are the experts at their own lives and being a doula is a privilege. It is both a calling to be in service to others and an invitation to learn and grow as a person by seeing the variety of strengths that can exist in others. We understand that people's choices may be limited by such factors as racism, classism, ableism and gender, and these factors shape people's health outcomes. At all times, we balance the best available research evidence with traditional wisdom garnered from generations of doulas, midwives, and other birth attendants accompanying people throughout reproduction. So here's a list of our courses. Um, as I mentioned, it's a full-time program, full course load. Uh, further information and course outlines can be found on Fanshawe's website. We have two practicum courses, one in the fall and one in the winter. And in the practicum courses, based on current research, students learn about practice, students learn about and practice skills doulas use with the pregnant person and infants. A few examples are infection control measures, comfort measures for the pregnant person prenatally and during labor, infant bathing, supporting the chest breastfeeding person and their baby, simulation scenarios such as client interviewing, developing professional relationships, preparing for a home board, birth, and support of the person in labor using standardized patients and live actors. All students are required to complete a series of mandatory requirements at their own expense. These include up-to-date immunizations, TB testing and yearly flu immunization, first aid, CPR, N95 mask fit testing, and a police check. Students are required to see their health care provider for completion of the health form and to provide evidence of good health and immunity to certain infectious diseases. So that's it about our program. I'll just turn it over to Andy. Perfect. Um, thank you so much. That was a wonderful overview. Um, and I'd like to remind our audience that if you want to ask a question, please submit it with the questions feature. To open the questions feature, click on the speech bubble with a question mark. We have a number of questions in the queue already, and we'll try our best to get through all of your submitted questions within this session time. If you have any questions after the session, we recommend you email myfuture at fanshawc.ca or book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. So now I'll welcome all of our speakers back up um, for us to start with the live Q&A. I'll start with our first question, which is, I want to be a midwife. Will my, will, a, mid, my a midwife, sorry, will my grades from doula studies be reviewed in the midwifery admission process? Uh, I can start to answer that and Jody jump in. Uh, no, the, the short answer is no, because this is a certificate program and uh, midwifery programs require graduation from a diploma program. However, how this can help is for the supplemental application. And I'll let Jody talk a little bit more about that. Thank you. It's a question that, um, that we've been asked certainly since the beginning of this program and actually having, when we were um, building and constructing the curriculum 
for this course, uh, however many years ago it's been now, it was always an intention for us that our students leave um, feeling prepared to, to situate themselves uh, towards a career in midwifery, if that was where they were looking to head uh, next. And so while the course, the grades may not be reviewed in terms of the application process itself, to have the language to be able to articulate yourself in such a way that speaks to what the midwifery model of care offers and provides families within our community, our doulas feel much more confident um, in being able to be prepared for that process. We've had people who have applied multiple times to midwifery who then come into the program and then have been successful in receiving an offer um, because they were better prepared. They had had the opportunity to really delve deeply into some of the aspects that our program goes to that aren't available in other ways that doula uh, education is provided. So really going into social justice, anti-oppressive practice, inclusive, uh, reproductive justice support is definitely advantage um, for folks who are looking to uh, be successful in their application to midwifery school. Andy, I can't hear you. You're right, sorry about that. Um, the next question is, what are the employment opportunities for do less? Uh, well, I'll start. Uh, most doulas are self-employed or are part of a doula collective. So that's one reason that we have a small business course in our program. So students are prepared to run their own small business. Um, much of doula, many doula referrals come through word of mouth through doula's clients. Um, there are a few um, birth centers and hospitals, not in this area, but in the province, who do hire doulas. But, and there are some um, extended health insurance plans that will cover the cost of a doula, but for the most part, uh, doulas are self-employed and clients pay them directly. Perfect, thank you for that. Um, our next question is, will I be certified, will I be a certified doula upon graduation? Okay, <laughs> this is complicated. I'll give you the short answer. Graduates from our program have an Ontario College certificate. That does not mean certification. Certification is done through private um, organizations and there are many, many. So what we say to our students, if you wish to become certified, upon graduation, then check out all those organizations and um, pursue the one that seems right for you. Jody, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I'd just like to add, I think it's a really important consideration um, because that language of certified was created um, a couple decades back as our as myself, Adula, I started about 25 years ago, and we were looking for, and it had existed uh, prior to me, uh, the profession, but it was the credentialization that was starting to happen was about um, supporting us to get access to the institutions. And so this language of certification started to circulate around, were you getting certified? But because we're not a regulated healthcare provider, you could go out today and create a certification program and you could say in order to become certified you need to do a b c and d and then i'll say you're certified as a doula with our organization certainly there are credible organizations that have list like have existed and we are they are our go-to still um, as faculty after all these years that we still rely on in order to keep our competency up and to continually uh, inform our practice. So there's, it's not about um, dismissing the important work of organizations. It's about being very sensitive to this language of certification and how it operates to grant some people access to um, healthcare coverage and into hospital spaces and ignore other forms of education that people have acquired. So that's kind of how it's a very interesting conversation that we unpack in the program actually um, and one that always comes up every year as people try and figure out, well, will I be certified? Perfect. That's a great answer. Um, now our next question is, what, do, what education opportunities can a doula certificate lead to? 
Uh, well, I'll start and then I'll leave it up to you. I'll ask our students to join in to so they can share what their um, plans and intentions might be. Uh, as as Jody mentioned, we've had uh, students go on and, and apply to midwifery and have been successful. We've had a number of students go on um, into nursing, both practical nursing and uh, BSEM programs. Um, uh, we've had students go off on other paths too. We have one that's now a flight attendant. We one that has is a 911 operator. So um, I, I guess what, for, for some of our students, this is real. This program has really helped them see where they want to go in their life and what they want to do with their future. So I'll turn it over to Neve, Courtney, and Marissa to see if they have anything to add. Um, for me personally, I am interested in looking into becoming a lactation consultant. Um, so it will be. This is the groundwork. For that hopefully um but i don't know about courtney and marissa what your plans are after <laughs> um so for me personally um i still don't know exactly what i want to be doing um but i definitely am hoping to stay in the healthcare field um possibly going into nursing um, i've always dreamed of being a nicu nurse and so the stula studies is kind of that that jump start for me but yeah what about you marissa yeah for me um like Jody has kind of already talked about, I'm kind of set on becoming a midwife. Um, however, that's not to say that I'm, I plan, I would love to um, be an actual doula if I can, um, if I can fit that into the schedule and depending if I get in um, to school next year. So it really depends on, time will tell, but um, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna, I am plan to stay in this profession and, and go on to midwifery. Which is awesome to Can hear because, yeah. I'm just going to add because as my students have heard me talk about before is that I began being a doula coming out of my undergrad. And for me being a doula, the, the skills and the experience and the relationships that I formed in that work has carried me literally around the world in places that I never imagined would be applicable and into various forms of employment from uh, residential care for folks who've experienced violence to working with criminalized populations to um, working now in a whole bunch of areas. It took me to grad school, I did a PhD, I tried midwifery, I've come back and I always credit doula work and learning to work in uncertain spaces, to practice from a place of humility, to learn how to work across really vast differences in worldviews and to find common ground to advance a, a, a common outcome. I have, and now I'm full circle back. And so for me, there's, regardless of where our students end up finding themselves, always they come back and say that, that year that we spent together was foundational no matter what I chose to do next. That's awesome. Um, I'll go back to Courtney actually, because um, one of the people in our audience specifically asked about something similar to what you talked about. Um, she was asking about how can getting into the doula program benefit um, them if they are looking to become a nurse and specifically a NICU nurse? Wow, that is very specific to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, essentially, the doula studies program, um, even if you don't like finish it and decide to continue with the doula work, we learn so much in this program. Even in just the eight weeks that we've been here, we've learned about trauma, being trauma informed, checking biases, um, you know, just becoming this like well rounded, um, you know, like person who can understand like things about social justice um, as well as reproductive rights and and that leads directly into you being a nurse and to being a NICU nurse because not only are you learning how to deal with like the different clients and different patients you're also learning about like you know the babies and, and everything that you're going to deal with so I think it's like it's a very well-rounded program that just really prepares you for that sort of uh, career path I think. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you for that. Um, and then our last question is, what are the admission requirements to be a doula? Uh, varied. <laughs> so they are all listed on uh, our program site at fanshawc.ca. 
I just have them up on my other computer, so I'll just read a couple of them. Um, OSSD with courses from the college, university, whatever stream, um, it's they're pretty wide open, I'll say that. Or an academic and career entrance certificate, or a high school, Ontario high school equivalency certificate, or a mature applicant with appropriate preparation. So if um, you think you fit in any of those categories, it's probably a really good idea to make an appointment with a recruiter to um, just go through the specifics of, because it's very individualized um, for each applicant, or I shouldn't Perfect. say for, each, for many applicants, yeah. it's individualized. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a really good advice. Um, so with that said, that would wrap up our session for today. And I would la like to thank all of you for joining and for your time. Um, I would also like to thank all of uh, the people who attended and submitted questions today. We hope that we answered all of your questions in regards to doula stu studies in Fanshawe College. And if you think of any more questions, please connect with our Fanshawe College recruitment team by email at myfuture@fanshawec.ca or by booking a one-on-one -on -one appointment with them at fanshawec.ca slash connect. Don't forget to watch your email as we will be sending you some details about our open house activity this Saturday. So that would be it and enjoy the rest of your open house. And again, thank you all of you for your time today. Thank you.